Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Black Clover M video. Alright, if you guys are not aware, they basically have announced that we will be getting season 2 characters and the two, I mean the three characters are going to be the same as the CA version. Alright, as you can see, we'll have Swimsuit Noel, uh, Swimsuit, I mean like uh, Summer Gauche, and then uh, Charmy as well. So all the version, Swimsuit version characters are finally coming for the season 2, right? So that means this is going to replace the banner. I mean, the banner is already over. And I think a lot of people were very confused. How come when the Season 1 banner ends, how come the Season 2 don't come, right? So it basically follows this particular standard uh, banner schedule. So as you can see, always remember, it will always follow the standard summon schedule. The season seasonal banner seems to end a couple of days earlier. So that can be a little bit, uh, you know, something that you want to pay attention to. As you can see, we're going to have 2 days, 19 hours left before the seasonal characters uh, actually comes. So keep that in mind. Yeah, so let's talk about this banner overall, right? The banners overall, because I think a lot of you guys probably want to know a little bit more about them. Now, first things first, if you guys have not seen the trailer, all right, so they have posted this. What are they capable of? Uh, Noel, very, very strong. She's going to be the one that you want to pick up from the gate, if you can only pick one. How about okay. thank you for bailing you out again? So she is going to be the strongest attacker. Alright, for Gosh, she's he's decent, alright? But Charmy is probably one of the better healers uh, around, alright? So definitely consider getting preferably Charmy and Noel are the bet the best two out of th these three, right? And keep in mind that, you know, if you miss out on them sadly, it might take a while before they come back. So she's a very, very strong red. Uh, attacker, pretty much the meta revolves around her in the JP server up until after Julius comes, which is going to be a while, right? Now as for Gauche, this guy is just going to be a supporter. Um, <coughs> he's not really a must-have, personally. Alright, uh, we're going to look at, uh, into their kits after this. And then we have Charmy! Alright, she pretty much replaces the SR Charmy, in a way. Alright, they're literally the same element. They literally can do almost the same thing. But she has much more of an AoE heal as opposed to a single target heal. So that's what you want to pay attention to, right? So let's talk a little bit more in detail about them. As you can see, we're gonna have uh we're gonna bring up the tier list right here. So this is going to be the global tier list, right? So global tier list, you can see Noel is insanely, insanely high tier right here. So she is like S plus tier. And there's a reason for that, she's going to be one of the strongest characters in the wild, so definitely get her. You can see Charmy Swimsuit is better than uh, Charmy Puppet Son SR. So definitely, they are both blue element, right? So you want to consider, definitely consider uh, the Charmy Swimsuit if you have not yet built the the regular Charmy, but if you already built the SR Charmy, um, she's still going to be a slight upgrade personally. Now, especially if you don't have Mimosa, which is like a good unit in PvP because she has a Resurrect. Uh, if you're looking for a healer per se, uh, she's going to be a better one. And last but not least, uh, Swimsuit Gauche, right? So let's talk about Noel first. What makes her extremely, extremely strong, if you guys are not aware? Look at this. She's an AoE attacker. Alright, so she literally uh, will be able to destroy uh, a lot of characters in PvP. The meta is going to be revolving around her. That can grant barrier. Okay, that makes her really, really strong. Uh, barrier is going to be... Her barrier is quite unique. Alright, so look at this. Skill 1. She basically, if you have a barrier attacks after applying, she will basically apply weapon enhancement level 1 to herself. And also if you have blessing of water, she will be able to apply weapon enhancement level 2. And what is this weapon enhancement? It basically increases your damage done by 30% and then one more by 40%. So collectively, if you have barrier and if you have blessing of water, you will be able to increase your damage done by the total of 70%. That is a lot. Alright, her skill 2 is where she gives barrier. You can see she gives everyone this thing called the water magic and she grants a des designated ally blessing of water equal to 120% of her magic attack. So she scales off magic attack. And she also grants all allies barrier equal to 100% of magic attack. And she grants all allies 10% increased favor damage. So her skill 2 is the, the buff skill. It doesn't do damage. It just gives everyone a blessing of water. It gives barrier. It also increases everybody's damage by 10% if they have the uh, advantage. And this is quite huge actually, right? If you think about it, uh, as you can see, the blessing of water is what makes this skill really cool is it gives you 
you know, the ability to counter attack. As you can see, grants immunity to a fixed amount of damage and counter attacks upon being attacked, right? If your enemy fails to remove your barrier on the first attack, you will get to perform a counter attack. This makes her really, really potent uh, in counter attacking anyone, anyone that's like trying to go for her, especially if the enemy has like a, a AOE skill, right? Barrier, pretty much straightforward, right? Uh, not every character can remove barrier. Blue Yami can, but um, it's going to be quite hard to counter per se. Uh, you, you can probably stack barrier as well with other characters. And then the increased favor, uh, favor damage is also very, very strong. You can see for this particular one, the uh, special skill, AOE skill, summons a massive water that drops that engulfs all enemies dealing damage. This is going to apply increased magic attack to yourself and then attacks. So this is going to be a lot. She's able to increase her magic attack by 55%. So she is an AOE damage dealer, very, very strong. A combined attack, she will be able to uh, attack, do 15% increased damage if she has a buff. All right. So again, all of this makes her really, really potent. And then look at this, the passive at the start of the wave, you grant yourself a barrier equal to 10% of damage taken for two turns. All right, so this is going to be um, very interesting and also applies 10% increased magic attack to yourself. And this is going to be, the unique passive is going to be the difference between you and the enemy's swimsuit Noel. All right, which one can do more damage in general. So get ready to, you know, keep looking at Noel swimsuit all throughout in the PvP. She's going to pretty much dominate the meta and rip Raya rip leeched because if you pull for those and you build them a lot, uh, they are not bad. It's just that she's a uh, fire and those two are green, so they will definitely get destroyed, right? Uh, by red characters in general, right? Now, since Chami, we have talked a little bit about her. She's going to be a healer, uh, pretty much that scales uh, off a little bit different. She doesn't scale off magic attack anymore compared to the regular SR Chami. As you can see, her skill one. Right, she grants the all ally with lowest HP, continuous HP recovery equal to 6% of max HP. So this continuous HP recovery occurs every two turns. And this is actually really, really good if you think about it. How many of you guys have fought this particular boss, right? Uh, I'm sure you guys know, uh, when you try to challenge this particular red boss, uh, the, what's his name again? Beetle Bug or something, right? If you guys uh, fought this battle, oh, Battle Gigas, that's his name. If you guys have fought this guy uh, either in, I believe, phase one, uh, where he can stun a lot of your allies, all right? And it sucks. If you get stunned, you cannot do anything and you cannot heal your allies. So continuous HP recovery sort of help with that because you don't have to, if you get stunned, you still don't have to worry because it will still occur. Uh, it's like a continuous recovery thing that will still occur uh, regardless of you getting stunned, right? So you, your allies don't have to be in a, in a normal state. And also there's a 45% chance to grant a recovered ally increased special point plus one. So this is of course very, very good. Skill two, all right, you can see she will be able to grant all allies continuous HP recovery again, 4.5% of max HP for two turns. So she definitely scales off HP. Uh, this is why this charm is going to be better because she doesn't scale off magic attack. She scales off HP and building HP is going to make it uh, a lot easier. All right, with all the gears that you have, right? It's going to be able to push that and also dispels DOT if there's any on you. And then on the special skill, grants all allies continuous HP recovery equal to 10% of the max HP for two turns and also increase defense level three for two turns and also 45% chance to give all allies increased special point plus one. Again, this is a lot of buffs right here. Uh, not only there's a uh, not only there's a HP recovery, there's also increased defense, which helps you with survivability overall, especially against raid bosses, where all the, you know, all the attacks from this particular raid boss that we have, the Battle Gigas, is like AOE, where like the other Charmy, the, the SR Charmy can only heal single target. So it doesn't, she doesn't shine as much, right? Uh, as you can see, uh, combined attack, you also are able to, 50% uh, chance to grant the partner increased special points. So she's all about increasing special points, right? And also, uh, when an ally turn ends, grants 3% of max HP as HP recovery to the ally with the lowest HP. Again, a passive healing skill. When an ally turn ends, this is going to be very, very good. And also grants you 10% increased max HP on the unique passive. Overall, this is all very, very good. Swimsuit Charmy is probably going to be the best healer for a while. All right, so apparently uh, she's not going to get replaced anytime soon. So you're pretty much future-proofing yourself. Hopefully, you know, if you can get her, and Noel, that's going to be the best of the two. Now let's talk about Swimsuit Gauche. So why why nobody recommends him or why is he not needed as much? 
He's not bad actually. So this is going to be a supporter. He's going to be like someone that supports are similar with a lot of other characters like Finral uh, or Valtos. But I do think that those are going to remain more relevant. All right, in terms of like uh, supporter supportive characters, those are going to remain more relevant uh, in terms of the uh, PvP side of things. Now for for swimsuit gauge right here, you can see skill one. All right, grants all allies HP equal to eighty percent or higher. Weapon enhancement, so that means increase your damage done. So this is sounds like a sounds like a good skill, right? It's going to be able to give everybody a, a skill boost, increase everybody's damage done by thirty percent. The problem here that you can straight out straight away see is the HP requirement. All right, so uh, with HP equal to eighty percent or higher, so if your allies have like seventy nine percent, now you're not getting the buff. Sad. All right, so that's going to be one restriction right there. Very very small minor thing that you always need to. Pay very close attention, especially when you're doing like fighting against raid bosses. You're gonna have like sometimes your allies is gonna be able to uh, go down below 80%, right? And that's going to happen a lot of times, especially when the boss have AoE attacks. Skill 2, however, applies increase all attack level 3 to the ally for 2 turns. Alright, this is going to be a uh, one particular ally, alright? And then has a 60% chance to grant all ally, I mean an ally, increase penetration level 2 for 2 turns. Alright, penetration again 40%. And also grants an ally intense sunlight where you can increase damage dealt by 5%. Now this one is really really good. However, this is just one ally. Alright, it's just one particular ally as opposed to an AoE above. And then the special skill, you know, uh, use 10% of your HP to grant all allies 30% fortify. Uh, that means reduce damage taken, uh, grants all allies increase uh, accuracy. Uh, this is going to be very good if you want to land debuffs especially, and grant all allies DOT immunity. Now this DOT immunity can be good for some bosses again, right? Uh, can be can be really useful. But uh, yeah, the special skill is where you're able to. Uh, it's more defensive though. You can see right, this is more defensive. Uh, fortify, except for the increased accuracy, everything is like defensive. Whereas the skill two is the offensive buff, but this one you can only apply it to one target. Now combine attack, you know, grants increased crit rate and also has a 50% chance of applying 10% increased stamina to your partner. Alright, increased mobility. And uh, passive skill, upon using skill 2, alright, grants a random ally 5% uh, increased damage. Okay, that's what the intense sunlight does. And also the unique passive grants you a HP recovery equal to 15% of your maximum HP when the duration of your buff ends once per wave. The unique passive doesn't seem that impressive, all right? I would prefer something like a raw stats, like something like Charmy's one, where she straight up gets 10% increased HP. Uh, Swimsuit Novel straight up get like 10% increased magic attack. This one requires you to have a condition, right? You basically get the HP recovery if the buff ends, which uh, you know, you might not be able to benefit at all at certain battle. So something to keep in mind. So yeah, uh, I do think that with all these new characters coming, I do highly recommend you guys to go all in on the Swimsuit Banner Season 2. Season 3 as far as I know, uh, you could probably skip that one, right? But again, all of these seasonal characters, these are the true limited characters. It will take a while before they come back. So make sure you guys do not miss out. So with that being said, that's gonna be it for this video. More videos, more guides coming out soon. Hopefully uh, I'll have plenty. I already have plenty lined up, but I just got a little bit busy a couple of days. But hey, stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a like if you guys enjoy it. As always, I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Have a nice day. Goodbye. All right, three more days, guys. Three more days.